means not just several hundred 3D printers, but also thousands of 3D printed objects. In this video, I therefore thought I'd give you my top 10 3D prints of the TCT show. At 10, we have this amazing dinosaur skull from BCN3D Technologies. This was printed in PLA in several parts that were then stuck together, filled, sanded and sprayed. The final object is a very impressive example of something that's been produced on a desktop 3D printer and has great surface quality. At 9, we next have this sample casting form 3D printed in sand by X1. 3D printed sand moulds or cores are used to manufacture components via traditional metal casting and this amazing print demonstrates the complexity and the detail of the forms that can be created. At 8 on my list is this distributor housing from Cytin which was printed in aluminium using selective laser melting. There are many impressive direct metal printouts at TCT but I picked this one as a really fine example of a large, complex engineering component that could not have been produced in one piece by any traditional casting or machining technique. Rising to 7 is this incredible motorbike from Mass Portal. This had its many parts fabricated on one of their Ferro 3D printers in a variety of materials that include copper fill, bronze fill, Ninja Flex, a carbon fibre composite filament and polycarbonate. The quality of the polishing applied to the copper fill and bronze fill is very impressive and again this is a great example of what can be achieved using desktop hardware. At 6 is this amazing full-size human hand 3D printed by IPF. This was fabricated in one piece using an Object 500 Connex 3 printer from Strasysys and nicely showcases the kind of things that can be made with their Polyjet material jetting technology. At 5, and fabricated in full colour out of ink sprayed sheets of standard copier paper, is this very realistic bowl of fruit from MCOR. In case you're wondering, the bowl and each item of fruit placed in it is 3D printed. MCOR termed their 3D printing technology Selective Deposition Lamination and as you can see, the quality of the colour output is incredible. Moving to 4, we have this highly detailed spacecraft made by the 3D Print Bureau. The model was designed by David Lewis of Hawk Wargames, for whom 3D Print Bureau normally print miniature mould masters. But here, they fabricated a much larger craft on a Connex 3D printer, with the parts assembled and then painted after printout. At 3, we go back to the future with this highly detailed DeLorean from LPE. Aside from the wiring and the bulbs, every part of this model has been 3D printed and that includes the windscreen and the tyres on the wheels. Technologies employed include selective laser sintering and stereolithography, with some direct metal parts being a particularly nice touch. At 2, we have this stunning alien head from Tritec 3D. The bulk of this model was output in ASA plastic on Fortis hardware and took 160 hours to 3D print. It was then given a 30 second post processing to smooth the surface by dipping it in a solvent bath. The skull shell was then made in resin on an Object 500 Connex 3 in a material called tangerine. Finally, at 1, on the 3D filler print stand, we have this R6 droid from Star Wars. This was made by James Bruton, who runs the X-Robots YouTube channel. All of the plastic parts of this robot were 3D printed at ABS on Lutzbot hardware. Granted, the electrical and electronic components are not 3D printed. But once again, we have a great example of what can be created using a desktop 3D printer. So there you have